While we're installing the ARB, Jeep gave us a great place to drill holes into the new Dana 44 Gen 3 axles, the Advantech. There's this casting mark right here where you would see a um, the same place for a Rubicon locker on the Sport. It's the same Dana 44 just without the hole. So we're going to drill and tap a 7 16 hole here. We're going to step our way up in bits as we go and we'll just keep moving our way up in these different size bits and then our hole here will be in this nice little cavern that is this nice little area that they put back here behind the bearing cap on the right side so your bearing caps go here but you have this nice little cavernous area there's an area for a vent that's where the vent come, tube comes out and there's also a flat smooth area right here and you can see there's about an inch uh, one by one inch cubic hole or recess back here uh, nice little area for Dana to allow us to add accessories and to give us a little area to work with uh, built into the axle All right, now that we have our hole drilled, we're going to tap it with a quarter inch uh, National Pipe Thread NPT, and we're gonna tap that hole, and this is what the ARB calls for to get us our airline into this inside the diff. Right. I think we've driven in there far enough. You want to make sure that when you're dealing with a diff that you're using brake cleaner, uh, spraying everything out, using magnets where you can, using magnets to get metal, metal flex out, and a shop vac. Um, this thing is as clean as I'm possibly going to get it. Spend the extra time here, make sure you're getting everything uh, clean, and then go back and re-grease your seals. And when you install your, uh, reseat your race, uh, everything will be clean, the, the hole that I've cut and threaded you can now see is right there for the ARB and it's a very clean install and you can be real proud of that uh, threads are as clean as the uh, machine threads that are there uh, from the stock location